Hi, this is Simon Leung with GrooveFunnels.com. Welcome back to Groove Collapse, where we collaborate with you. Check the video description for your invitation to volunteer. Today, we welcome Miles Hupp from Iowa, USA, who has a special talent for explaining technical things in simple ways, which is especially helpful for anyone who may be starting out online. In his first tutorial, right here, Miles will explain the difference between a domain name and a website. Without further ado, here's Miles. Hey there, thanks for that intro, Simon. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain the difference between domain names and websites. Now, the way I like to explain the difference is to compare them to real property as an analogy. So let's take a look at the mock-up I created here. Okay, just like houses are created on property, websites are created on a server, and it looks something like this. This is a warehouse full of servers. And inside all of these doors, there's actually hard drives that hold everyone's websites and all information that you find online. Now there's many companies that have servers and when they market the space for sale, they call it hosting. They host your website on a server. For example, some of these sites down here like Namecheap and GoDaddy offer domain names and hosting. Now the server has got its own address, just like your house has an address. For example, this house address is 237 Garden Street. But in the digital world, servers have IP addresses, which is internet protocol address. And every server is on an IP address. So you can compare a street address to an IP address. This street address represents this property and this home. This IP address represents websites on these servers. Each of these companies have different IP addresses, just like each home has a different street address. Now, if you wanted to, you could go to the post office or a UPS store and lease a PO box. For example, let's say you went to the post office and you started leasing one of these PO boxes and you leased PO box number 12. That would be the address for this box. But what you can do is you can fill out a form that forwards all of your P.O. box mail to your home address. So you'll get all the mail from your P.O. box sent straight to your home. Now a lot of people do this so they don't have to expose their home address online for security purposes. In the digital world, it's a little bit different but almost the same. Even though your website is parked on folders inside a hard drive on these servers, its main address is this internet protocol. Now I won't go into detail on the actual web address of your website because people know all websites by domain names and a domain name can be compared to a PO box address that's forwarded to your home address. When you go to GoDaddy or one in one or Namecheap or any of these domain registrars, you can register a domain for a full year for under $20. Namecheap is under $10. And then you can point that domain name to your website on the server it's parked on. Now, every single domain name, whether it's ebay.com, amazon.com, facebook.com, youtube.com, google.com, those are actually all domain names that are just forwarded to the IP address of the servers that those websites are parked on. Now that might be a little bit confusing, but if you can relate it to a PO box that's being forwarded to a home address, it's the same thing as a domain name being forwarded to an IP address. This is the physical world and this is the digital world. Now the reason why people get domain names is because they're a lot easier to remember than a whole bunch of numbers and files and folders. Just like PO box 12 is a lot easier to remember than 237 Garden Street. So let me show you what some popular websites actual IP address is. I'll pull up an internet browser. Okay, so a website with a free tool that you can use to see what the actual address is on everyone's domain name is whatsmydns.net. Now right here, you just type in the domain name that you want to find. Let's go ahead and type in facebook.com. Then you click search. Here is Facebook's IP addresses. They actually have a couple. What that means is their website is split up in more than one server. This is the IP address of one of their servers. Here's an IP address of another one of their servers. And this is an IP address of yet another one of their servers. But it looks like those are the only three IP addresses they use for the entire site of Facebook. Let's look up Amazon. Okay, Amazon is built on three different servers also. 
Now it's important to know that Amazon.com is just the domain name that points to the website that's parked on these servers. So when you register a domain name, you're not getting a website. And when you purchase or build a website, you may not have a domain name for it yet because the website is built on the servers and the domain name is registered and points to those servers. Let's do eBay.com. Now you can see here that eBay is built on two different servers. And these are the addresses of them right here. Okay, let's check out one more site here. Let's go to walmart.com. Walmart.com is also built on two different servers. And all these are is this domain name, walmart.com, is forwarded to these servers. And these servers is where the Walmart website is built upon. So let's go back to the mock-up. Okay, so Amazon, eBay, Facebook, and Walmart are all built on servers like these that have this pr internet protocol right here, the IP address. And I showed you where to find their IP address. That's their actual ones. And the owners, like Jeff Bezos is the owner of Amazon, he registered the domain name Amazon.com through a domain registrar. And then he forwarded the domain name to the server IP address where Amazon.com is built. So if somebody asks you if you have a domain name yet, they're not asking if you have a website. And if you have a domain name registered, you may not necessarily have a website built yet. Now I know I use some technical terms here like server, IP address, but these are actually very basic and well-known words in the internet world just as a street address or PO box is in the real world. So if you're going to start getting involved in websites and domain names, you're going to need to know a couple of these things, especially if you're working with somebody. And it's not really that hard. You have an IP address, you have servers, and you have domain names. Servers are the hard drives that host your website, which means that your website's parked on them. The IP address is the address in the digital world where it's located. And the domain name is the name you register and then forward to your website so people can remember the address easily. Just like you have a home built on property, the home would represent the website, the property would represent the servers, and then the street address would represent the IP address. And if you had a PO box forwarded to the address, that would represent the domain name being forwarded to the IP address. And that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. And if you learned something from this video, go ahead and smash that like button and click the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of future tutorials that I publish. And that's it for the difference between a domain name and a website. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.